Have you ever wondered if parachutes work? Yeah, neither have I. But as an article that I came across in the British Medical Journal pointed out correctly, there is not a single randomized control trial showing the effectiveness of parachutes. That was at least until the 18th of December in 2018. On this date, Robert J., an associate professor of the Harvard Medical School, published a paper doing just that. A randomized trial of people jumping out of a plane with or without a parachute to see if there were going to be observational differences in the prevention of major trauma or death, with a very surprising result. In his conclusion, he states, parachute use did not reduce death or major traumatic injury when jumping from an aircraft in the first randomized evaluation of this intervention. So why did he and his colleagues conduct this study and how did they come to this conclusion? Let's have a deeper look into the research that they conducted. He states correctly that parachutes are routinely used to prevent major trauma or death among individuals jumping from aircrafts, but the evidence that supports the use of them is very low, as it is merely based on expert opinions and biological plausibility. Here you should note that there are different levels of evidence in science, two of the weakest scientific arguments being just those, expert opinions and plausibility. So they set about and tried to find a number of participants that would be willing to jump out of an aircraft with either a parachute or an empty backpack attached to them to compare the results of the two interventions. At first, the researchers engaged passengers seated next to them on commercial flights that were completely unrelated to the study, explaining them the purpose, design of the study and asked them to participate. However, it proved impossible to convince people to jump from these commercial flights. Due to those problems, shortly after they switched their tactics and used private aircrafts and did find persons willing to participate in their study. At the time of each jump, the altitude and velocity was recorded and a follow-up was conducted which, with each participant to check their vital status as well as record any injuries sustained from the free fall within five minutes after impact with the ground and then again after 30 days. A total of 92 individuals were asked to participate in the study. 75% of those were unwilling or unable to participate, leaving only 23 individuals eligible for randomization. 12 of these people jumped with a parachute, while 11 jumped with a backpack attached. As I told you before, there were no significant differences in death or major traumatic injury observed when jumping with or without a parachute. This result could be partially due to the altitude of 0.6 meters and the velocity of 0 meters per second at which the plane was traveling. Therefore, it's not entirely sure that these results should be applied to higher altitude jumps. This study, even though highly satirical, highlights two very important messages. Firstly, it shows the limitations of randomized trials. When individuals with a lower perceived likelihood of benefit, like in this case, people jumping from a height of only 60 centimeters, are purposefully enrolled in a study. And secondly, it shows again just how manipulating a title of a study can be, and that to be properly informed, you must look behind the title and behind the abstract alone. Otherwise, it's just incredibly easy to be manipulated with results that are in no way representable of the truth. So the next time you see the sentence, scientists have found out that chocolate cures cancer, or scientists from Harvard proves that parachutes are obsolete, or just something along those lines in your social media, take the time, think about it, and look and understand the study yourself. If it sounds completely ridiculous, it probably is. Thank you very much for watching my first video. I had a lot of fun going through the material, I will leave the link to it down in the description. I would be very happy if you could leave me some critique or questions below in the comments so I can improve for future videos. See you next time and please don't jump on a plane with a backpack attached in the meantime.